Whether you're traveling or you live in an apartment or for whatever other reason you just don't have access to a washer or dryer, uh, doing your laundry in your sink or your bathtub can really get you out of a bind sometimes. I, I think we forget sometimes just how simple washing clothes actually is. There's just some water and some soap and if you leave them hanging long enough, they get dry. So let me show you how to do this. So you just need a few things to get started. First of all, the clothes that you're going to wash. I'm going to be washing my favorite polka dotted socks and I also have my ex officio underwear which is great for traveling because they dry really fast and uh, a sink or a bathtub uh, and then uh, some sort of something to wash it with. Uh, now this is uh, a, a Trek and Travel Laundry Wash special travel laundry detergent. Um, also Dr. Bronner's soaps work really well and if you're in a bind, you can also just use the shampoo that comes with your hotel. Any sort of soap will, will do. So first you want to stop up the sink. Uh, if you don't happen to have a stopper on the sink, you can actually uh, keep the water from draining out of it with uh, wadded up toilet paper. It works very well. And turn on the water. It can be hot water. It can be warm water. It can be cool water. Uh, you know, be careful of colors like you would uh, normally doing laundry. And then with this stuff, I just need a little cap full really to uh, it's very concentrated to have enough soap actually it, it calls for two so I'll add a little bit more I imagine they actually want me to use more than I actually need <coughs> and so now we've got um, some suds going in here and we just need to sort of knead all of the clothes in this water um, and squeeze it out a few times. Do this for a few minutes actually. Do this for a few minutes and let it sit for uh, 10 minutes. Okay this stuff has been soaking for 10 minutes. You can see how filthy my socks and underwear really are. Uh, just kidding, it's probably dye or something. Um, and now I can just drain the sink a little bit and I want to squeeze, wring all this stuff out, wring out all the soap and put it, put this stuff off to the side. Just wring all of that out. And now the soap is out of the, out of the sink. I can stop up the drain again. And this is going to be our rinse cycle. So we're going to fill up the sink. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes again. Okay, our sink got filled up with clean water. This stuff has been sitting around in here for 10 minutes now. It's pretty much ready to be rinsed out. So I can start letting all the water out. I can really squeeze all these together. Try to get all the soap out of them. And one by one, I can wring them out, and they'll be uh, they'd be ready to dry. It depends upon uh, what kind of material they are. Uh, it might take, you know, it might take as long as a day, depending on on what kind of material it is. If you're hanging it to dry, um, but I'm going to show you one more trick in between if you want them to dry a little bit faster. Okay, now this is a trick way to get them dry really fast. Uh, what I've done is I've folded over a towel in half and then I have all the garments laying out on the towel. And what I'm going to do is roll, roll all these uh, clothes up in this towel like like I'm rolling a, a burrito or something or a cigarette or a joint whatever um, it's all rolled up and then I'm going to put my knees on it and walk across really wring them out and this will wick all the moisture out of them and they'll dry much faster now I just hang everything to dry. That uh, towel trick works really great if you're traveling and you need everything to dry overnight. Um, so otherwise 
they might take about a day to dry, but you've been able to do laundry now practically for free without access to a washer and dryer.